Good morning, Faith. I'm Daniel Diemer, and along with Kay Sunston Melberg and Don Youngberg, we've been researching solar for Faith. We're happy to share what we've learned with you today. This research project actually began with a rather large Excel bill. Since the beginning of 2021, our monthly electricity bill has averaged over $3,500. Last year, we spent almost $45,000 on electricity. Why is it so large? The biggest driver is heating and cooling of the building. While we do have a few areas of the building that are heated with gas, most of the building is heated with geothermal. To run the pumps and heat exchangers for geothermal, it takes a lot of electricity. Environmentally, we are being good stewards with geothermal and should be thankful to those who decided on that approach for our building. The next step would be to power that system with solar. The geothermal pipes run under the park next to the playground. Some of the proposals that we've seen would put the solar panels right above the pipes. It's a nice picture to have the solar panels above the ground and the geothermal right underneath. Financially, this is a good deal for Faith, but it is complex. Using a recent proposal and our best estimates for general inflation, electric inflation, and interest rates, it's actually possible that our annual expenses for electric with a solar loan would be less than just electric without solar starting in the very first year. Our break-even point would likely be between 10 and 15 years. Our savings over 20 years could be $400,000 and over 30 years, $1.2 million. The lifetime of most panels is expected to be 30 years. In order to pay for the project, it would require fundraising and a loan. Also, there's a program through the federal government that refunds 30% of the project cost to us because we're a nonprofit. There are a lot of things to consider with solar. Roof mount or ground mount, a partial or a full system, full meaning that would, we would replace 100% of our annual electric uh, need with the solar. We could use battery storage for peak times. There's fundraising and loan options. There's a lot to consider. But in our team's opinion, the project makes sense both environmentally and financially. Thank you for your time today.